Ghost Member Video. Originally recorded during the Force for Good class series in January 2016 with Sharon Salzberg and friends. So, the Metta Sutta. Metta is the word in Pali. Maitri is the word in Sanskrit. Um, for loving kindness. Uh, as I often say, the word, the phrase loving kindness is a little bit awkward um, simply because I don't really think, unless you're in a very special place, you will necessarily hear it quoted. You know, if you're at you're in some diner and you're listening to the conversation going on at the next table, um, you will, it would be so unlikely that you hear the term loving kindness. <laughs> Once I was literally in a diner, that's why I said that, on the Upper West Side. <laughs> and, uh, and I heard this conversation at the next table, and uh, this, this man said, or this woman said, what's a Jubu? And I practically leaped over into their laps, you know, because the term is used for like a Jewish Buddhist. And then he said, you know, it's a Jewish Buddhist. And she said, what's that? And I was like, and then they noticed me and they said, somebody said, would you like to join us? And I said, no, no, I'm sorry to, you know, be nosy. It's just, I am one, you know. So I thought it was kind of an interesting conversation. But most likely, you do not overhear a conversation on loving kindness. And so my concern is that that might make the state itself seem somewhat arcane or removed from day-to-day -day life or precious in the negative sense of the word. Um, the literal translation of metta, thank you so much for doing this. The literal translation of metta, it's M-E-T-T-A, is friendship. So it means developing the art of friendship toward oneself, and that means all aspects of oneself. And you still need some. Uh, toward others. Some people still need a copy of the sutta. Yeah. Uh, the literal meaning of, literal translation of the word metta, which is spelled M-E-T-T-A, is friendship. So that means, first of all, friendship toward ourselves. And it means all aspects of ourselves, those parts of ourselves we like a lot and we celebrate, and those parts of ourselves we don't like that much, and those parts of ourselves we're a little bit disconnected from and ultimately friendship toward all that lives, toward all of life. Now friendship doesn't mean giving in, it doesn't mean succumbing. Um, metta is a powerful motivating force. I even hesitate to use friendship uh, because I'm afraid it sounds a little too gooey <laughs> and acquiescent. I tend to use connection because that's what it really is, I think. It's this powerful acknowledgement our lives have something to do with one another, that our lives are interconnected. It doesn't mean you like somebody. It doesn't mean you're going to take them home. It doesn't mean you're going to say yes when they ask you something. It doesn't mean you're going to give them any money. But there's a sense of inclusion, inclusion rather than exclusion in your heart, right? Everybody wants to be happy. This being also wants to be happy. Everybody is vulnerable to change and to loss. This being too is vulnerable. May they be happy. May they see their way through. You know, may they get free of what's holding them back or maybe their tiny little distorted notion of where happiness is to be found. Sort of reminds me of, you know how sometimes you meet somebody who says they're really lonely, and then you hear the way they talk to other people, and you think, well, no wonder, <laughs> you know? It's like, 
and the loneliness is genuine. The urge to connect is genuine, but we don't have a clue so much of the time. And we're so conditioned, we have so many habits, we're taught so many things. It takes a lot to step back from all that and say, I'm gonna figure it out. I'm not gonna just go with you know, what I've been taught or what's conventional or what seems easy or what's familiar. I'm gonna look for a deeper sense of happiness. Right, so some people, um, would say that a better translation for metta, even than loving kindness, is love. Bob would say that, Bob Thurman. Um, that, I think, is also very complicated because of the many, many different ways we use the word love. Um, sometimes it really is that medium of exchange. I will love you as long as. You love me in return. Does anybody else need a um, sutta? Here. You guys have a word? Thank you. Um, I will love you as long as you say so in return in this precise way. I will love you as long as the following 15 conditions are met. And I once, I used that example in a room and someone didn't like it. And they said, only 15. <laughs> so I said, oh, okay, I will love you as long as, however many. I will love myself as long as I never make a mistake. So how long is that gonna last, right? That's such a fragile, breakable state. It's not really, what we mean by metta. So it's, it's a certain meaning of love, but it's not that. Um, that can be so fleeting and leave us sort of bereft. Oh, I made a mistake, I'm no good, right? So I do tend to use connection, or my old <coughs> wish was that metta itself would enter the culture as a term, because of course some, some words do. And, it was like ages ago, and the New York Times had an interview with the writer Alice Walker, and she talked about her meditation practice, and she said she did metta. So I thought, okay, this is it. You know, the New York Times used it. So clearly everyone's gonna just start using the word metta. So of course no one started using the word metta uh, because of that. Um, and then I forget how many years ago when, um, the then L.A. Laker, Ron Artest, changed his name to Meta World Peace. And I got so excited. Um, and there was, you know, the announcement, there was this brief flurry of media interest. And people, you know, some journalist wrote to me and said, uh, have you been a big influence on his life? And I said, I don't know who he is. You know. <laughs> and what is Meta? And then maybe six months later, the paperwork went through, so then there was another brief flurry of interest. And, and then uh, poor Meta behaved badly in some way. Um, and then my friends were sending me so many headlines, which were all real, you know, from papers like, Meta lets us down, <laughs> Meta fails us, you know, poor guy. Um, so that didn't work. So I don't know that Meta will ever. Occasionally I meet people and they just use it, so I think that's nice, but uh, think about connection. To learn about the Tibet House member archives, and upcoming Tibet House member trips with geographic expeditions, please visit tibethouse.us. Tashi Dilek, and thanks for watching.